Let's take a look at finding percentiles by hand using linear interpolation. So the question says find the 59th percentile, P59, for the following 20 values. So right away they're giving me some information here. The percentile I'm looking for is the 59th. So the value of Q is 59 using the notation from our class. Um, the value for n, the number of values, is 20. So since there are 20 values here, we know that n is equal to 20. And these 20 values are actually given in order of increasing magnitude. So you can rank them. This is the smallest. This is the second smallest, third smallest, fourth smallest, and so on. When you're given data in increasing order like this, um, we have a name for that. These are called the order statistics, and they have special um, symbols used to represent them. For instance, the smallest data value with the rank of 1, because it's the smallest, is 68. That's the minimum. The second smallest data value with a rank of 2, because it's the second smallest, is 84, and so on. So you have the next one, the third smallest is 88, and you can take this all the way up to the largest value, which would be the 20th value, which is 702. So these would be called the order statistics because they're in order of increasing magnitude from smallest to largest. The 20th value is the largest value. Now, in order to find the 59th percentile, what we want to do is we want to find a value that separates the smallest 59% of this data from the rest of the data. So I want a value, one of these order statistics, or not one of the order statistics, it might even be between two order statistics, but I want a number where 59% of all the order statistics are less than that number. That's what I'm looking for. So in order to do that, I'm going to use this linear interpolation method. And to use that in linear interpolation method, I'm using this formula here to find a virtual um, index called i plus g. This virtual index has two parts, i, which is the floor or the whole number, and g, which is the fractional part. So to calculate i plus g, I just need to know q, which is the percentile, percentage, 59, and n, which is the number of values which is 20. We recorded those earlier, 59, 20. So we go ahead and we just plug all that in. We know that i plus g then is equal to q, which is 59 over 100 times n, which is 20, minus 1, this whole thing plus 1, which gives me that i plus g is equal to 59 times 19 over 100 plus 1. I believe that 59 times 19 over 100 amounts to 11.2. Um, and when I add 1 to that, I get 12.21. So the value of i plus g, i plus g then, is equal to 12.21. Like I said, that implies then that i is the floor, or the whole number part of that, 12, and g is the fractional part of that, or 0 0.21. Now, with the values of i and g, I can go ahead and find the value that I need for the 59th percentile. I'm going to use this formula to find the 59th percentile. This is going to say that p... 59, or the 59th percentile, because q is the value 59, is equal to the order statistic x12, which is the 12th value in the ordered list, in the um, list ordered in ascending order. And then that's plus g, which is 0 0.21, the fractional part, multiplied by xi plus 1, well, i is 12, so that's 12 plus 1, 13. So I'm looking at the 13th order statistic minus xi, which is, once again, the 12th order statistic. So I'm looking for this here. 
I just need to know what the 12th and 13th order statistic are, and I can find P59. So I just need to go into that ordered list and find the 12th and 13th number in order and plug them in here. So let's see, the 12th and 13th number. Um, we have 10, uh, 5, 10, and then that's 11, 12. So the 12th number is 268, and the 13th number is 278. So I have that X12, X12 is 268. That's the 12th number in the ordered list. And I also have that X13 is 278. That's the 13th value in the ordered list. And that's minus X12, which was 268. And then I'm just going to find P59 by doing this calculation on the right. So the 59th percentile is then equal to 268 plus 0 0.21 times that's equal to 10. And then 0 0.21 times 10, well, that's uh, 2.1, 2.1, so that I get that the 59th percentile, calculated by hand using linear interpolation, is 270.1. And there you have it. That's how you do that by hand.